off we go from Tampa. Taken from about the 12. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. Always fun to get a peek at Tom Brady as he gets in place to command this offense for Tampa Bay. And at one point, he announced to the NFL world that he had accomplished everything he needed to and was going to retire, but then reversed that decision. And I think everyone who likes football loves the fact that he's still out there throwing it around and still at the top of his game. In a career that's seen and accomplished just about everything, he figured there's always room to add to that legacy. Gotta like that start. 14 yards to get him going. Well, there you go. This offense off to a strong start this afternoon. Yeah, with a big run and a first down. That's putting what you practice into play. That's excellent execution to get things started. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Again, it's Fournette. Able to avoid him at the 40. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. Holding offense. And they get Tristan Warfs, first round pick in 2020. Still first down. Brady going to throw. And he completes this to Russell Gage. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And it's second down. Brady now to throw. The pass is caught by Kate Otten. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with White. They get five out of that one and it moves the chains. Brad, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. It just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box. Yeah. Field. Here's Brady. It's caught by Mike Evans. And they're going to get this to about the 44 yard line. <laughs> Counting down toward the midway point in corner one. Now a play fake. Brady. And that is incomplete. Man coverage is certainly a staple of their defense as built for plays like that, forcing that incompletion. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. To throw, it's Brady. He's got Otten on the out route. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. Solid opening drive so far, Charles. They've moved this football into field goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely. As one of the better coaches in the league always tells me, on offense, I want their body blows all game long and finish it with uppercuts. Well, here are the body blows right now. He's hoping in one uppercut will take care of the end of this drive. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Fakes the give to Fournette. Now Brady. That'll be taken in downfield by Godwin. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. That goes for a gain of 31. Execution was one of their watchwords leading up to this one. And on that play, able to execute brilliantly here on this opening drive.
Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. They'll try and run for it with Fournette. Fighting for the end zone. He lost the football. It's out. And it's picked up by the Eagles. Let's face it, everybody at the start of a game has, has a mental image of how they expected to go. And I think that was going exactly as they scripted it offensively. Moving the ball well, seemingly in control. And that fumble, that's got to be a little bit deflating, don't you think? Yep, foiled the whole plan there. Turned the ball over. Philly's offense getting ready, and Jalen Hurts ready to lead them. The second-round pick who started his career at Alabama did finish with an electric senior season at Oklahoma. Tremendous production in college at two different universities, and this is a guy who was a finalist for the Heisman Trophy. Still much more of a runner than a thrower, but has plenty of arm and is capable of making the big throws downfield. And don't underestimate his ability to think the game. Remember, he's the son of a coach. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And he'll take this up to about the seven or eight yard line. Antoine Winfield up from the secondary with a tackle. I think they're ahead of schedule now after that run. They might be bold with this second down call after that type of a game. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Now they'll run the option to the short side left. Excellent job on the keeper. 20 yards and a first down. And this, I mean, it's certainly something to watch out for. He is not afraid to call his own number on plays like that. And here he takes it for good yardage. And we know this defense prepared all week for this, but sometimes when you see it in person, it's a whole different ball game. And all that preparation, it goes right out the window. On first down, Hurts. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. The touch and time here critical for those types of throws. He put a lot of zip on that one. Needed just a little bit more finesse trying to get it to his back. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Throwing his Hurts. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And down right around the 32-yard line. Four yards on the pickup. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing. And they shut that one down with a little gain. scoreless after one start of the second quarter and it's the Eagles in possession they are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains here's Hurts to throw eluding the pressure right and this play comes to a halt at the 33 and obviously that's well short of the first down only able to get back a yard for his efforts, and that leads us to fourth down. I'm actually looking at this play with defensive eyes here, partner, because they were still laser-focused on him after his earlier exploits on this drive. I think they went back to the well just a little bit too soon. He got across the line of scrimmage, but they certainly weren't giving up much more than that. This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. And this will depend on the spot as it sails out of bounds. And they'll say it sailed out at the 10-yard line. Tampa Bay, they're getting ready to set up shop here for their second drive. And so close to hitting pay dirt last time. Fumbling down near the goal line. Now, how does that affect their psyche this time around? It's a tester, that's for sure, because... To be that close and come away with no points is really disappointing, not just for the guys on offense, but the defensive players, too, who thought, hey, we're going to put some points up and have a little momentum going. They've got to find a way to just get it out of their minds, let it go, and move on to the next series. 
And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. 23 yards, the final tally. And they were backed up to start the drive, but not anymore. Now, that's the play call that the offensive coordinator had in his head. You saw the end result. He wanted to go ahead and push the ball downfield, and that's what they did. And they wound up with good yardage there to get things rolling. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Here's Brady. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. That sack courtesy of the effort of Hassan Reddick. A CD, you know, so often we talk about quarterbacks holding on to the ball too long. Well, we can't say that there. He had no time to do much of anything. Yeah, that's one where you turn to your wife and say, uh, guys, can I get a little help here? And you have to ask politely because remember, they're blocking for you the entire game. But as a quarterback, you've also got to have the clock running in your head when you need to get rid of the football. But this time, he had no chance. They were on him instantly. Another try after the first down sack. Brady, he completes it to Evans. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. So how do you beat man coverage? First of all, you want to be a superior receiver, but you know something, that guy who's covering you, he's usually pretty good too. So the corner route is usually a great spot to get it done. On first and 10, here's Brady. Jones has it. So five yards here, five on the play. And that'll bring up second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he get a good head of steam going. Second down at five. On play action, it's Brady. And his throw is incomplete. But there's an incompletion, partner, and the struggles through the air continue because so far their lack of passing production has led to a lack of points. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. To throw is Brady. He finds his target, it's Evans. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 37. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. First down, here's White. A beautiful fake. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. That's a strong pickup right there on first down, and as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. The last run got six, now second and four. They fake the handoff, now Brady. Man open, here is Jones. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Julio Jones, 31 yards. And the Bucs post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Ryan suck up on for the point after. And that one gives the Bucks a 7 to nothing lead. So that drive in total eight plays. And it culminates in a Julio Jones touchdown.
gets ready for the kickoff. And here we go. It's in the air. Fields this way up at the 17. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. So back onto the field. Here come the Eagles for their second drive. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 is the score as they begin with a first down. sets up to throw it and it's incomplete boy he doesn't drop many like that one second down we know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away but the bottom line is that's a pass he's got a pass he should have caught so after the incompletion second and ten from the 22 Hurts. Airing it out deep for Smith. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. The offense schemed going five wide, trying to create a chance for the big shot, and they took it. If he comes down with that one, that's a huge offensive swing. But credit the defense with a nice play, knocking that one away. On third down, they're going to go with the option. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Really good effort. He does it himself, picks up 15, also picks up the first down. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane, and he keeps it himself there. Worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it, most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. He's been making himself a weapon as a runner, and the results, they've been welcomed by his offense. My question is about the defense we're watching right now, partner. Even after he got him with a scramble earlier this drive, they still aren't devoting enough attention to him. I would expect that after that carry, they'll do a much better job going forward, spying on him on passing downs. First and ten, it's Hurts. And now off to the races, down the right side. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Devontae Smith, 49 yards. And the Eagles are on the board here in the final minute of the first half. And a little time left on the clock, so on the other side, they're thinking, gosh, we'd like to get that lead right back. Yeah, thanks for pointing that out. Here I am going ahead and tapping out the first half. Well, There's still time. Way. They've got to make a decision about what they want to do on the kickoff, where they want to let their return guy touch it. Elliott good on the extra point, and that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. So that drive spanned five plays, and it was finished off by a touchdown from Devontae Smith. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Well, the Bucks going to take over now late in this first half. And with a little under a minute to play, they may be looking to pick up some yardage here, maybe try and come up with a field goal to seize the lead before intermission.
The drive starts with a run by White. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Not a lot of running room there. Not a place to make a cut and kind of exit out because they had everything bottled up. Looked to me like the linemen were taking on their blocks really well and giving up no creases. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Now Brady. He's going to have... Now the ball comes loose. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return and an Eagle touchdown. The pass receiver turned into a runner, then he turned into a fumbler, and it goes the other way for six. I love your description. Although for the offense, they're not too happy about it. But for the defense, what a big-time play for them. Never give up on anything. Sometimes you create your own points. But the receiver, hard to fault him. He's just going for extra yard. That's exactly what you're supposed to do, but you have to take care of the football. Elliott on for the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. So with three seconds remaining in the half, they will line up to kick this one away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. All that remains is to snap this once, and that'll do it for the first half of play. So we've reached halftime here, and it's our visitors, the Eagles, leading this one. As we send you a stone throw away across I-4 to Orlando, they're standing by as Jonathan Coachman, ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everyone, to our brand-new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. First things first, let's get a check on the next-gen stats from that first half for Philadelphia. And it was a tricky half to figure out numbers-wise. They've got the lead, but you'd figure they're definitely talking about ways to get this passing game back on track. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. first as the third quarter gets underway and that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback out come the Eagles now as he'll go on offense first here in the third quarter and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He'll let this thing go for Sanders. 
And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. So following the incompletion, here's second and ten from the 25. They go play action with Hertz. Escaping the pressure right. He's going deep for Brown. And a double coverage and it's intercepted. Picked by Antoine Winfield Jr. And the Bucs are going to have the football here at their own 35-yard line. So the ball changing hands on the interception. But meanwhile here, we do have an injury on the play. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. Now they just got a little help from their defense forcing the turnover. Now can they make that pay off in points? They need to, partner. They're down on the scoreboard. Need to take advantage of those opportunities. And this is a good one right in front of them. An ideal beginning of the drive there as they'll get 20 and a first down. For a tight end, he's got good straight line speed. And on that route, he's often the guy that gets overlooked. Nice job there finding him in stride for really good yardage. Brady now on first down. That's going to be complete on the sideline, but, you know, that throw left him no room to run and a good footwork nearly all for nine. The result, only four yards there on the play. And that will bring up second down. If you run an out route, it's likely you're going to end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The toe tap. You got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up and making sure it was a catch. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. But tapping those toes, he tried to get both in bounds. He could not do it, though. In tap dance parlance, could not complete the shuffle. All right, needed to get that shuffle down with both feet, not just one. Is that what they say? There it is. You know, put a little sand down on the stage. I'll take your word for it, my man. Brady to his tight end, Braid, for the Tampa Bay first. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moved. And yeah, they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Brady gives this to White. And he'll get it down inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. On the tackle, it was the West Virginia man, Kaiser White. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. On play action, now Brady. Throwing left sideline complete. That's Jones. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. 23 yards on the play. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. Now Brady. And in for the Buccaneers. Touchdown. Was shot right from six yards away. And the Buccaneers are within an extra point of tying up this ballgame. 
to a strong drive here to lead off this third quarter. That has him an extra point away from tying things up. But, partner, this is pretty much what they envisioned when they were sitting there in the locker room thinking about getting things going to start here in the third quarter. Getting out there, a field goal would have been fine. But going ahead and scoring here, extra point away from tying things up, that's exactly how they drew it up on the board. Extra point put through by Suckup, and we are tied at 14. So that drives seven plays in length. And it was all finished off by a touchdown catch from Rashad Wright. started all even as the kicks away and this will be a touchback so they'll bring it out to the 25 Philadelphia's offense ready to go again they start from scratch here so to speak 14 all following the interception last time that led to a score well they've got it first and 10 It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Joe Tryon showing in pursuit that time, and he gets the tackle for loss. Sometimes it's a danger putting that jumbo set out there. You just get a lot of bodies masked in one location. You can wind up with 18, 20, maybe even all 22 in the box, and there's nowhere to run the football. The opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. He'll look to throw. Going deep here for Watkins. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. There is something to a game plan. We're trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Looking right side, and that's complete to Watkins. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. So the completion good for seven there. And it'll be fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. The Eagles send out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Only 29 yards on the punt there. Definitely not his best. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. So out come the Bucs now. The long drive last time out for this offense, Charles, if you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But... Let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. And this one not going anywhere. They get him at the 44 for a gain of just a yard. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Throwing now is Brady. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far and brings up third down. I think he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. 
Brady. This is caught by Evans. Now he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Excellent play there on third down. Give him 25 yards. I don't care how many times we see it. I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass trait in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Throwing on first down is Brady. Looking Mike Evans way again, and he's got another one. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. Oh, that was a nice job there. Quarterback and receiver reading the pressure that was brought. They both knew it was going to open up the middle of the field. Nice little shake and bake at the line of scrimmage. Got right into his route. And the quarterback hit him in stride. He was able to run free after the catch. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Into the red zone, it's Brady. And he wisely will throw that one away. Well, we all know possessions are crucial in a tie game. And let's face it, I really didn't need to tell you that. You already knew it. So when he sees he's got nothing good going, an excellent decision to just send that one to the sideline third quarter all tied up this is second and ten inside handoff now to Fournette he will push his way down to about the 14 they do get a couple but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Seventh play of the drive, forthcoming on third and eight. They defer to White out of the shotgun, and the tackle made at the 13. He is well short of the first. This defense not budging back-to-back -back carries of just two yards. Have to kick this field goal, don't you? No question about it. Look at the clock. Look at the situation. Kick the field goal. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This to break our fourth quarter tie. Suckup's kick is good, and they take a 17-14 lead. So he waited on the sideline for his first chance in the ball game, and it didn't come until the fourth quarter, but he connects there, a big one to give him the lead. Boy, you talk about coming in cold. I don't care how many times you kick it into a net. You're not really ready when you go out there, and all that beef is coming at you trying to block the kick. Big spot, and he delivers. ready for the kickoff and here we go it's in the air taken at the 15 a short kick and he'll be stopped up at the 25 the Eagles offense now they head back on the field and now they find themselves trailing following the field goal still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ball game Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. He'll start with a handoff to Sanders. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. Akeem Hicks, he would not be denied there. He sticks him for the loss. Well, they set the power set out there, and their job is to be man-on-man -man and move people so they can run the football. But that time... Too many men didn't get moved in the box defensively. They end up throwing it for a loss.
first play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. They'll set up to throw, and he can't hang on to it, and the screen never got started. Did a fine job there not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Throwing his hurts. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. The Eagles send out their punter now as he's on here to punt it away. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. And this will be taken at the 13. Call that one an even 60 yards, 6-0. And that will come the offense as they take over. Now the Buccaneer offense gets set to take over. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. Brady and the Bucks now with a first and 10 at their own 22. They'll start here with a handoff to White. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there. Second down. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely. You want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. To throw on second and six, Brady. Evans has it left side. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. He can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Brady now on first down. Got a man and he hits him in stride. So the completion results there in nine yards. And they'll have a second and one forthcoming. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him. Why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Up the gun, Fournette. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. Two yards, good enough for first. Well, they didn't accomplish their goal. They didn't get a stop there, gave up another first down. They have all three timeouts in their pocket. I think defensively, you've got to start thinking about using them here. I was just going to ask you, what point you think now's the go time? I think now's the go time. I don't think you sit back and wait because they can take a lot of time off the clock between plays and run three to four and really put you in a stressful spot. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. Hassan Reddick able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. And we all know how talented this guy is who's calling the signals for him. But even the best in the game, they can struggle against a good, cohesive zone coverage. Can't find a gap in the secondary quick enough, and he ends up taking a sack. Points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Buccaneer football as we welcome you back. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. 
And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. They'll run it again with Fournette. And to the 49-yard line, but no further. And obviously, he is well short of the first. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Here comes the Buccaneers punter now as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. Yeah, yikes. Terrible kick headed straight for the sidelines. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. Hurts and the Eagles now. Down 17-14. A minute 46 to go. Now they need, at minimum, three points out of this as they come up first and ten. They'll look to throw. Finding Watkins. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Holding. Offense. Offense. Uh, he's trying to protect his quarterback's blind side. Got nabbed for the hole. You have one job over there. Make sure that man does not get hit. So if you have to hold occasionally, do so because they don't catch all of them this time they did they're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty back to throw and he can't get a throw off he's taken down what a huge play at this point in the game he couldn't get rid of it he takes a sack for a loss of six to bring up second down Hurts trying to hurry up the offense. He'll look to throw. On oh, the throw led him too much that time. It's incomplete. So he's unable to complete it there. And just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been a phenomenal really start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here? Or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Back to throw. Pass complete, and it's a fumble. And it's picked up by the Buccaneers. And fantastic field position has them just outside the 10 at the 11-yard line of the red zone. Well, that simply is a missed opportunity. They're in position. If they take the ball downfield and score, they got a chance to win the game. Instead, they cough it up. I don't think next week at practice is going to be a whole lot of fun for him. On the other side, no bigger time to force a turnover when you've got that small lead. Yeah, and when you look at it from the, the offense's perspective, taking care of the ball is so important. I know they're going to have all kind of ball security drills in practice all next week. Victory formation now for the Buccaneers. Down to a knee they go. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. Victory formation now for the Buccaneers. Down to a knee they go.
We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Brady will take a knee here, and that should just about do it. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. Well, that second half, Charles, a little bit different from the first. Not only did we have the lead change after intermission, but they were able to pitch the shutout in the second half and get an impressive victory. And what's the old expression? That's not quite how I saw it playing out in my head. You know they didn't expect this at all. As you mentioned, went into the half of the lead. Losing the game is one thing. Getting shut out in the second half, that's a surprise.